Yo everybody, what is up? What is going on? We're back with Planet. Hey, it's not a bit! Hey! Yeah, what are you doing that boy? You better not wait that dog on that before I make your coffee, give me 20 push-ups! Alright. Now that's enough from the drill sergeant. Um, let's get to a place quiet. And uh, let me tell you guys what all I have to say about the game developers in this video. Yes, it'll include something very, very negative, and of course they won't like it. But I just need them to just hear us out as concert players. Now, I haven't been on Planetside re recently. Alright, so the devs, um, don't really want to update the game. You know, there's no point in me just playing it if they're not going to update it. No. Run some bundles, what's so not, something like that, but. <sighs> it's a shame. No bundle. Let's get back on. It's been there. Nothing new uh, of any kind of bundle. You know, what I have to say about Daybreak Games is that you guys really are sad. You know, we pay you our money for in-game cosmetics. You know, you guys take our money, freaking show us off all of these bundles, but you guys can't just update us. You know, give us like some patch notes. You know, because last time I checked, I've been looking at my... Uh, notifications roster and I haven't really been seeing any kind of updates going in, like being thrown into the game. No patch notes, no updates. Now, if you guys really think this game is for PC, then don't update us anymore, you know. Don't give us any updates, you know, don't give us any patch notes of any kind. You know, don't give it to us, you know. And the reason why I say that is because you guys have the nerve to give the PC all of these new friggin' in-game cosmetics, all these new bundles, all these new updates. And what's this I've heard about sanctuaries? Something like that? Something with an S or a C? You know, if you guys really think Planet Side is for PC then go ahead so by all means update PC leave us console players in the dark PlayStation 4 don't think Xbox One would be compatible with this game but let me tell you guys something you know as a veteran of Planet Side 2 you know I've been on the game ever since 2000 actually ever since my 10th grade year of high school Yeah, yeah, around that year. So that was around about uh, 2018, 2017. Wow. Th hey, look at this guy here. You know, every time I see Nightstick, he's always spinning around um, at the whip gate. Hey, buddy, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. I'm still at nothing. Look at this guy spinning around like a goddamn maniac! Listen, you go ahead and just do your thing, man. Listen, keep looking at him, you know? Go ahead and do your thing. I ain't gonna say nothing. But, um... Yeah, if they really think this game isn't for... PlayStation 4. Go ahead and do what I said earlier. Leave us in the dark. You know, we'll be fine without an update. You know... Maybe that would really boost your... Uh, service levels and make it all popped up and popped up and popped up make it all crowded Because that'll encourage more players to get back into the game if they if if we had us an update Like hey, new weapons, here. like give us Take new cosmetics some. Like give us new updates and second of all, please open up an additional continent Freaking forget VR and cool tier. We need an additional continent to be open because a lot of the times the servers be packed and then you know, just some people, they can't log in because they have to wait about 30 to 30 to about 10 minutes just to get into Endar, Esamir, Amherst, or Hassan. 
All because that you idiots freaking locked at this one continent. For what reason? I liked it better whenever the game had two continents. Just two months ago, um, Hassan, wait, actually, Amorous was unlocked as an additional continent. Like, whoa, hold up, the alert didn't end it. You know, why is this unlocked? That leads everyone to some questions. Glitch? Did we break the game? No, 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 no. Maybe we might have did one of the both. But, you know, I liked it better whenever the game had all these additional continents. Let me tell you why. It would help even out the server pop. You know, like, hey, say like if Esmir is full, right? And, you know, you can't get in. There's this little continent open, which is Hassan, Endar, or Amorish. You know, you go to one of those, you have no problem getting in because the server isn't populated. So, with the state of the game it's being in, I think, hey, you know what? Don't stop doing Planet Side for your viewers. Stop playing it just because you don't like the game. Now guys, listen to me on this one here. I will still provide you guys Planet Side gameplay whenever I can because after work I just stay on GTA because you know I just want to make my money. But guys, I will bring you guys all of the Planet Side to the excitement you guys want, need, and you guys deserve. You know, maybe if the devs watch this video, maybe they would understand. You know, because like listen, take what I. S like, took what I said earlier, for example. You guys really want to bring players back to this game? Start putting in some new updates, you know? Start making the continent lock t um, timer instead of just two hours. And make it just one hour. Because in that way, um, once that continent locks, you know, it unlocks another one. Which even out the uh, server pop. You know, let's say if this continent's open, right? And this one here is closed. And then this one here is open. So that means once this one here closes, this one here opens. This one here will unlock as an additional one. If you guys update your game, you guys can bring back your players. All of your other veterans. Because I haven't really seen any, any old traces of the NC. I usually find them in big battles, you know. You know, I know of a couple heavy hitters on a few factions that stopped playing the game because it just got so boring because of no update. So if you guys get what I'm saying here, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you boys in a bit.